Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a hardware resource comparison between Lubuntu 20.04 on the left, the uh, previous release, and Lubuntu 20.10 on the right, so latest release. Now having said that, the one on the left is actually the, uh, the long-term service release, so you've got a good three to five years of uh, usage out of that one there. Whereas on the, the right hand side, the 20.10, although a little bit more cutting edge later in design and uh, the looks, it is actually only supported for about nine months or so. But uh, let's load both of these up here just from scratch and firstly have a bit of a look if I can do such a thing there. And uh, we have, oh, we are missing a couple of things here. One moment there. So as we can firstly see, we've got the Lubuntu's, the 2004's and the 2010's here and there. Now, uh, we are actually running on the, the desktop environment, the LXQT desktop environment, mostly built from the, uh, the ground up, so uh, very much from scratch in comparison to older versions of Lubuntu. It's designed to be lightweight, but I am talking a bit too much, so we'll get to the, uh, the raw specs here. And we can see a couple of interesting things here. So uh, probably the first thing I'll mention is uh, they are booted up from scratch. There's nothing really loaded in the background whatsoever, just except for the operating system itself, of course. And uh, we can find that it uh, does have, it's running using about 350 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat for the uh, the 20.04 variety of Lubuntu, whereas on the right hand side, it's roughly the same, maybe a smidge more, 370. So really inconclusive in terms of being different, they are very much the same there. Uh, we've actually got a few extra threads running on the, the newer version, which is probably consistent with any newer release of any operating system. But uh, I guess as a full disclaimer, this is only designed to give you a, a really, yeah, just to give you an idea of the base level RAM usage so that you can run your own um, apps on top, which means uh, depending on the, the PC that you need, if you need just to have a really lightweight operating system, this is actually one of the ones to go for because it is fully functioning. It's even got a, a bit of a heads up display uh, option to, to select uh, yeah, your app that you might want. Let's just type in Firefox, I'm sure it's there. Fantastic, easy, simple, a little bit um, uh, Windows XP-esque, but uh, that's pretty much it guys. Just a super simple, fun, quick video on the, on the RAM usage for the most part for this one. So thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Hope to see you guys in the next one.